So here we are again. Another gig economy worker has been killed while working. My name is John from Ride Upstate, and today I want to talk to you about this incident that happened in Washington, D.C. Two teenage girls, 13 and 15 years old, attempted to steal an Uber Eats driver's car. I'm going to read from the article over here to my right. Um, the girls, allegedly too young to drive, they were charged with armed carjacking, and um, they are being charged as juveniles. The victim who died was a Mohammed Anwar. He was a 66-year-old immigrant from Pakistan who was living in Virginia. You know, he came to the United States for a better life, and he was doing gig economy work. And it's really unclear on how this happened. Basically, uh, the car crashed after he was hit by a stun gun or a taser or something. And he was killed in the crash. So uh, this is from the Washington Post. Uh, the detective describing what happened, he said, um, the detective did not describe precisely the beginning moments of the incident. Leo said the girls armed with a stun device got into Anwar's car at the Navy Yard Metro Station. He drove a short distance to Nationals Park, Leo said. There, the alleged plan turned deadly, based on witness accounts and a video of the incident. An argument and what happened to be a struggle erupted with the 13-year-old shouting, He's got my cell phone. Eventually, Anwar was standing outside his car with a 15-year-old with the 15-year-old in the driver's seat and the other girl in the front passenger seat. Anwar tried to force his way back into the car by climbing on top of the teen in the driver's seat. Before he could get all the way in, though, the 13-year-old reached over from the passenger seat, turned on the ignition, and manipulated the gear shift. Um, Anwar was hanging outside of the car through the open driver's door. Uh, the vehicle lurched forward, accelerated down the block, made a sharp right turn, struck a curb, and overturned, landing with the passenger side up. In other words, it landed on Anwar. Anwar was ejected and suffered broken bones and injury to his head. He did eventually die. Um, so I don't know what all the circumstances around this are. It sounds like maybe... He got out of his car, maybe, to do a delivery and left his car unlocked and running. Or maybe they forced their way into the vehicle somehow and were attempting to steal his vehicle. Whatever the case, it's very tragic. This is tragic. Uh, number one, it's because it's teenage girls who did it. Not even adults trying to steal this man's car. And number two, because now uh, this man's life has been ended all over a car. Listen, folks, your life is worth more than your car. If you are in the habit of leaving your car unlocked when you go do a delivery somewhere, just let someone take your car, okay? Um, you'll get it back or you'll get it replaced somehow. Don't deprive the world uh, and your family of your life. Just let someone take the car. It's just a reminder that all of us need to be careful out there, that we need to stay safe, and we need to keep those doors locked, folks. When you're in the vehicle, the doors are locked. When you drop off the food, heck, even if it's in someone's driveway, um, you might, depending on the neighborhood, your doors are locked, right? I don't know how many of you actually pull into driveways. I tend to pull into people's driveways if I can, rather than parking on the street. I just think it's safer. Um, but look, stay safe, folks. Keep your doors locked. Keep your head on a swivel. And be safe. <laughs>